Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, hope all is well. So it is time for another reaction video. So it is a lot going on, child. We gotta talk about this mess. TikTok is once again got these folks just losing their mind and going crazy, okay? So what's going down, if you guys do not know, on TikTok is this whole thing called veneer technicians, right? Let me keep it real with y'all. Um, I don't know anything before all of this. I did not know too much about veneers. My extent of veneer knowledge was Cardi B's song, Bodak Yellow, when she's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm the hottest in the streets. No, you probably heard of me. Got a bag and fix my teeth. Hope you hoes know it ain't cheap. That is the extent of what I know about veneers. I know they're expensive and I know they can make your teeth go from what Cardi B's teeth used to look like to what they look like now, right? But I didn't know there was like all these issues that come from them and you know what I'm saying? And just like bootleg veneer techs because the most that I do at the dentist is just go and get cleanings every six months. I have, you know, naturally straight teeth, which is a blessing, but y'all know I love me some gaps, okay? Um, so this is not, you know, to like flex on people. It's just something I've never had to look into because that's not, you know, that's never been an issue for me. I've never really had teeth issues, but I do understand that this is an issue for a lot of people. And your smile is like the best thing you can wear, right? Is your smile. A nice smile gives you a lot of confidence, you know, to like be yourself and open up. And sometimes when people don't have a quote unquote perfect smile, it can like, you know, affect their self-esteem and you know how they deal with people and them never wanting to smile in pictures. So, you know, I do know people like that, friends, family who don't have like the perfect teeth, but y'all, please pay attention to this video you know nothing is worth your health your teeth and the things that your teeth do are connected to many vital parts okay and if you allow people to start playing around in your mouth it can affect a lot of things you can get sick you can get septic you can even die you know what i'm saying teeth care is extremely important okay so what's basically going on is as we know like first of all dental insurance don't cover shit let's keep that real okay i have dental insurance i might as well not have no type of insurance because they literally don't cover anything you literally still have to come out of pocket a lot of money for like the basics anything outside of a cleaning and y'all remember like i believe it was like last summer or something like that i ended up having to get a root canal but what was crazy is before i went to the dentist i was just fine he got the digging around in my mouth and made shit a lot worse and i was dealing with teeth pain in the back of my tooth for like six months and then i was finally able to get a root canal but i'm telling you before i was able to get in it literally felt like somebody was just punching me in the side of my brain like it hurt that bad where it's like if you even sip something water hits it hot cold you're just you're, you're ready to swing you're ready to you know what i mean box like that's how bad it hurts so i could not even imagine having somebody who lives in their mama's basement working on my teeth okay i get nervous of dentists who have eight year degrees working on my teeth who are actual doctors working on my teeth let alone some yahoo okay so what's going down is this basically like i said the dental industry is super expensive so people are finding new ways to get that perfect smile and i remember i first ran across this video a few weeks ago because it was going viral on instagram and i saw that roly had gotten new teeth roly's from the baddies and so she got new teeth and her new teeth looked really beautiful they looked perfect they were white so we're gonna watch this video then i found out later on that the guy who did her teeth he's running a whole dental veneer tech licensing thing but the problem is veneer techs is not a real thing that's what had me confused i'm like well what degree is this i've never heard of a veneer tech either you're a dentist or orthodontist or dental assistant i didn't know that they had veneer tech courses and this is a real thing in atlanta which we all know is not a real place okay the shade um but the things that go on in atlanta i understand now why people feel like atlanta is not a real place because this is like a booming industry right now in atlanta 
And what we're finding out is that this is also an illegal industry. I don't know why you guys are surprised by this whole veneer tech stuff coming out of Atlanta. Because as somebody who lives in Atlanta, like actually lives in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, baby, if they could do open heart surgery out the house and name it Hearts by Hernesha, they'll do it. <laughs> One thing about Atlanta, they're going to start them a business and they're going to be an entrepreneur. They don't give a damn if it's legal, illegal. The other day, this girl came up to me and said she was selling, she was selling medication for prostate cancer. Are you a pharmacist? Where do you get that from? Where do you get that from? I mean, so Atlanta, if you know, you know. So we're gonna go ahead and watch some of these videos and I'm gonna react to it. This whole situation's a hot mess, honey. I'm Brandon from A-List Smiles Atlanta. I'm Dr. Maurice Sosa from Columbia. And together we're having a two-day veneer class here in Atlanta. Let's get into it. I have more than 20 years of experience doing and share with you all the secrets for do the best composite veneers. Together we've trained over 300 people on how to successfully do composite veneers. If you're interested in the composite veneer training, this is a class you wouldn't want to miss. In this two-day class, we'll be teaching you everything you need to know about composite veneers. Not to mention, remember that the class included a kit with everything you need to do composite veneers. You guys, you heard right. Everything you need is here. But don't forget, like all we only have limited availability. So secure your spot with a deposit today, and we look forward to seeing you there. Maybe that link in the bio to enroll today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, I have a lot of questions. First of all, is this legal? Now, I heard that the dentist next to him is actual legitimate dentist. I don't know about the young man, Brandon, but he has been on Instagram and TikTok just, you know, uh, I guess doing the so-called Lord's work and just, you know, fixing people's teeth. But when I'm hearing that these classes are not legitimate at all, and we're just going to go here and scroll so you can see all the people's teeth that he has done. And I'm not gonna lie, they look good, but we don't know if it's safe or not. Then you have Rick Ross's baby mama. She's like promoting veneer toothpaste. So a lot of people are running to take this man's classes. And what we're finding out is that none of this is real, nor is it legitimate, nor is it a good idea. 2024 is around the corner, and this is the perfect time to perfect your craft or start a new business venture, specifically in the dental cosmetic world. January 27th and 28th, BBS Smiles will be offering a class to help you start your veneer business. This two-day class will not only offer a vendor's list, it will be catered. You will also learn some premium veneer techniques. You will be learning how to do veneer maintenance, veneer cleaning, how to replace missing teeth, and also learn how to perfect those veneers. You will also be learning how to market your veneer business on social media and also in person. Register yourself today. The link is in bio. Get ready to start your new year off right in the veneer business. You can literally change a person's life with the perfect smile. Register today. Veneer training in Atlanta, Georgia. I didn't like my smile, so I got veneers in Atlanta. I love, love, love my tea. Thank you so much, a smile. She got veneers in Atlanta. So this is one of his classes that he's advertising for $3,500. You too can be a veneer tech. Like this is insane. A two day class. And so people are taking these classes and then they're going back to their cities, promoting themselves as veneer technicians. Again, like I always say, I think a lot of people are in love with titles. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be a doctor, but they don't want to spend eight years in medical school, okay? Like, no, you cannot call yourself a doctor. The only person who's able to get away with it is Dr. Dre, okay? Who's the doctor they told you to go see? If you want to be a dentist, if you want to work in people's mouths, you have to get a degree. 
Dentists are basically licensed doctors who specialize in the teeth and your teeth are connected to a lot of vital organs and you could end up possibly doing major damage or even killing somebody by playing around in their mouth and putting veneers on their teeth, especially if they have rotten teeth, if they have gum issues, you're basically sealing that infection in their mouth where it has nowhere to go but into their bloodstream, which can then turn into an abscess, they can turn septus, and they could possibly pass away so this is really really serious and the fact that people are being certified as veneer technicians and they're not realizing that this is a scam they're literally doing this to scam people they know that those certificates that they're printing are not worth the paper that it's printed on you know so a lot of people are not aware of this so this is becoming a huge discussion on social media you also have people doing basement braces and these basement braces are becoming popular as well and now we're also seeing the side effects from basement braces where the braces are not being held together by much and they're falling apart literally a day or two later. So we're gonna go ahead and watch some of these videos showing people's veneer issues and basement braces issues. So let's go ahead and check this out. What on earth is going on with this whole veneer tech situation? This is literally ludicrous. If you guys are not yet on veneer tech TikTok, oh my God. To catch you up to speed, there are certain people offering two-day courses on how to do veneers on real people, and then they're offering these certificates for veneer techs, which is not a real position at all, and these people are going out there and literally destroying mouths. I went to UCLA for dental school, which is a four-year accredited program, and during that time, you're pretty much either learning about dentistry or practicing dentistry 24-7 for four entire years. I know that might seem crazy, but you literally have that much to learn. There is no way on earth that you can learn everything that you need to know about veneers in two days. I feel so bad for the people who are being misinformed and lied to and being treated by these veneer techs. Now, some of the people online are saying, you know, oh, it's too expensive to go to a dentist, this and that, blah, 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 and the veneer techs are offering better deals. But let me tell you something. All of this black and brown tooth structure, these are cavities. If you put any sort of a material over a cavity, what you're doing is you're trapping in an infection. The only place for the infection to go then would be down the root of the tooth and into the bone area. That quite literally is gonna cause irreversible damage to the tooth structure and getting that fixed by an actual licensed dentist is gonna cost so much more than these veneer techs will charge for their veneers. Though it's fun to have a nice looking smile, it definitely can contribute to your overall confidence as a person. The most important thing is to have a healthy smile. Getting veneers done by a veneer tech where they're trapping in cavities and infection and not considering your overall periodontal health is quite literally the opposite of having a healthy smile. Now going to a licensed dentist and getting your veneers done, it can be quite pricey, but it's pricey for a reason. The other thing to remember is that getting your veneers done is not a necessity. It's quite literally a luxury procedure. You do not need veneers to have a healthy mouth. And in fact, in a lot of cases, you need to have meticulous oral hygiene in order to keep your veneers healthy. I actually don't know how this is happening and how it's allowed to continue, but I hope that all of this comes to an end very soon. And don't even get me started on people who are doing braces in their garage. Oh my God. If you're a victim of getting your veneers done by a veneer tech, please go see your local dentist ASAP to see what you can do about your situation. If these people do not go to jail for illegally practicing medicine, they are absolutely going to go to jail eventually for unaliving someone. Because I don't think people realize how dangerous tooth infections are. Your mouth is very close to both your brain and your heart. And if you have an infection in your mouth already and they're capping that, that's going to become an abscess. Or if they create an abscess and you start swallowing all that bacteria, it's going to go to your brain or your heart. And one of those infections will act very quickly and end your life. And if you're getting backdoor veneers, I'm sorry, you probably don't have a lot of money. And when those medical bills hit, because our medical healthcare system is terrible, you're also going to be SOL. But I don't think insurance is going to cover something you willfully did because you didn't do your research or are just dumb. On top of that, they are not cleaning their instruments properly. You need autoclaving, which they just don't have. And if they operate on someone who has HIV AIDS and then they operate on you, guess what you're catching too? This is why you don't go to people basement. You can really just... Yeah. I'm taking the whole thing off that easy. Like, pay over $400. This shit like a toy. Oh, hell no. I, I mean, after all this veneer tech craziness and all these people doing back dentistry, technician, whatever, now you telling me we got the braces certifications going out now too in Atlanta? Y'all are killing me. 
you're killing me here, okay? Obviously, as you guys have seen from the veneer technician stuff, there's a lot of people that just decided overnight that they thought it was going to be cool to just do dentistry illegally. It's completely illegal. You can go to jail for a long time for it. If I told you I was a tummy tuck tech, would you let me do your tummy tuck? I don't know. I hope the answer would be no, but I don't got much faith in some of y'all nowadays. Why are you letting someone who has no formal training in dentistry practice dentistry? Like, why, why are you substituting them for the dentist? Furthermore, who's training them? I know no reputable dentist is doing this because I'm pretty sure that would be a crime. Um, also, going to these people and these people practicing dentistry without a license, that's a crime. They need to be reported to your state's Board of Dentistry or Department of Professional Regulation because they're exploiting people. That's just simply what's happening. Some people aren't educated on the qualifications of what an actual dentist is, and they're, they're getting this shabby work because that's what they think is legitimate they'll get some under the table prices and yes i said under the table mean illegal yeah rushing because i'm ready to get them done actually this is my second set um my teeth are already aligned but i'll show y'all later yeah i'm here and i'm excited now these are my teeth after i will show y'all what my teeth look like in january when i first got them put on oh my goodness but it did what it needed to do so this is her little kid, and like I said, yeah, we working with what we work with. These are the brackets. Yeah, these are the colors. At this point, I'm getting the braces because they're cute, because my teeth are already fixed now. But yeah, I'm getting put back on because, yeah, she real affordable. Yeah, thank you. And these are my teeth after y'all. So like I said, I don't need them, but I had gaps between every single tooth. This is her putting them on. And let me tell y'all just a little backstory. Now, she did tell me uh, when I found her, she told me that she had went to school for it or started school for it. But because of financial situations within her family, they had to move um, from out of town and they relocated here. So she didn't get to finish, uh, you know, like orthodontic school or whatever. I don't know if it was a lot or not. I really didn't care. I was already going to get them done because I seen that she does what she needed to do. I saw I'm not gonna show her face because y'all police and I support everybody business legal legal whatever it do I don't support her business so yeah So by this time, it's like 
Nine thirty. My ankle started hurting. My mouth is swollen. It's hurting. But I'm telling her, she, she takes a picture. I'm like, they look all right, but they still, at that time, I couldn't talk. I said, they look all right, they look but all I, right. I can't talk. She said, you got to adjust to them. So I'm thinking, okay, she, she know what she doing. By 12 o'clock, not even 24 hours, 12 o'clock, Thursday morning, I'm crying in tears because my mouth is swollen. I can't talk. I had to call out of work Thursday. I call this lady. I tell her, listen, I got to call out work. I can't even talk. My mouth is swollen. These things got to come out my mouth. She tells me she got a doctor's appointment. She going to try to see what she could do. But can I come to the shop? Maybe at 2 o'clock. To the shop. I, at that point. Not to the office. I'm like, okay, just meet me at the shop. So I go to the shop. I'm sitting at the shop waiting for her because at this point, I haven't been able to sleep. Eat, drink, nothing. All night, take your pain medicine. I go to the shop. She tells me she don't have the tool to take these partials out my mouth. When your text don't have... So I am flipping out. It, she tells me... she's dr She start drilling them. She's drilling them, drilling them, drilling them. And I'm pulling. I'm aggressively pulling them. Mind you, I don't got no pain medication. You ain't numb me up. You don't got the proper tools to take them out of my mouth. I am crying. At one point, she tells me, you might need to go to the emergency room because I think I might pull your real teeth out with trying to take them out your mouth. Scary. At this point, I was upset. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. Y'all can finish These watching things her. These hanging out my mouth. This Story. lady it's telling good. me that she, I'm going to have to go to the emergency room. I already hate going to all right so you guys just saw some of those videos and like i said these videos are a trip on social media with all these different you know basement veneers basement braces and everything else what's even crazier is that winter blanco from bad girls club um she went viral this past weekend for breaking down crying because she's been having issues with her veneers for the past few years now she did go to a you know professional um dentist to get these done but something happened mistakes were made and she's been suffering with pain ever since so we're going to go ahead and watch winter's video as well i know that i look crazy and it's so embarrassing to come crying on the internet but this stuff that i have been dealing with for two years because of my freaking teeth is like i don't even know what to do anymore and like the only place i can really go to is my platforms as everybody pretty much knows Two years ago, I had um, dental work done at Smile Dental Center 32 in Miami, and it ruined my life. <laughs> like, literally ruined my life. <laughs> and I'm still dealing with it to this day. And I just left another doctor, another TMJ doctor. This is the third or fourth one that I've gone to. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just very overwhelmed. <laughs> like the medical industry the dental industry in america is like they literally do not care about what you are going through like everything is about money for them and like i understand like people have to get paid but it's like the fact that like i can't i can't do anything like i can't use insurance i can't do anything i've already spent eighty thousand dollars pretty much on this whole situation in two years and I go to another TMJ doctor because I have severe TMJ now because of the veneers that Smile Dental Center did. They 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 lost my bite. I have severe TMJ. I got my T3 done. It it didn't fix it. That was another thirty thousand dollars. It's just like I just had an appointment and like you know they're telling me like okay we could do this we could do this and it you know it could it could be a big money pit and you know it could be you know another 80k and you know it might not work like i spent so much money with so many doctors just praying that something works for me and nothing works nothing ever works i don't know what to do anymore like i can't even sue the freaking dentist every every time i come on here telling my story about what happened which is a crazy ass story and like just sue why don't you sue if i could sue that would be the first thing i'm i'm doing but i can't do that i can't do that it's, it's not possible like 
can't sue for my sensory issues my sensory issues are unknown every time I go to a doctor they've never heard of it and you can't prove that they gave you these issues because there's no way to diagnose it specifically like it's just a whole thing they offered to give me my money back within the first year and I told them no so that I could bring awareness because like people are just like you know out there getting veneers and whatever the case may be like my life is literally ruined because I got my teeth redone like I'm not even joking like my I'm constantly in pain I can't even close my mouth properly after a retainer every single day 24 7 pretty much to even close my mouth comfortably no bite adjustments can fix it nothing I've done 100 bite adjustments I've gone to 10 different dentists four different tmj doctors i've done integrative medicine i've done acupuncture i've done everything you could possibly i've done hypnosis i've literally done everything you could possibly do to try to fix these issues i've been called crazy by my primary care doctor at kaiser they told me to see a therapist because i'm wanting what i'm going through at this point like i just don't know what to do i'm in severe pain i've gotten freaking masseter botox twice my fucking face is slim the fuck out like i look crazy as fuck because i'm in pain 24 7 it's just i guess my only thing is just don't get fucking veneers and know that like something like this can ruin your life like literally and quite frankly i'm not giving nobody else 80 fucking bands like no i'm not doing it like the fact that these people are so like just everything is so money driven and like i understand but it's like this shit is like really medical for me like why does nobody care about people in chronic pain without you having to fucking spend 80 bands twice like that's crazy as fuck to me all right, so you guys just watched Winter's video. So this whole situation is crazy, but it looks like because of all the nonsense and the reality going on on TikTok concerning these veneer technicians, they're starting to crack down. People are starting to get arrested. Um, this hit the news just a few days ago. They are starting to bust people. You know, this is really serious and this can cause a lot of damage. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this news clip right here. When you go to the dentist, you assume the person doing the work in your mouth mm. is actually a dentist. But recently, we've heard from multiple people with the same shocking story. Their allegations sparked the state and the suburban police department to launch investigations. CBS 2's Lauren Victory has this exclusive you need to see before you open up. The last time Monica Bailey sat in a dentist's chair, she was hopeful. Now she's nervous, as if her teeth were chattering. It's hard. It is. Um... I'm just hoping that we can have a positive outcome. It was February when she visited this building in Schaumburg. Up on the eighth floor, Bailey and her 15-year-old daughter had appointments to get braces at a business called the Veneer Experts. Cleaned my teeth and started, you know, putting the glue on and putting the brackets on for the braces. And I thought what she was doing was how it's supposed to be done. We offer a wide range of services. Bailey says the woman in this video worked on their teeth. Her name is Monica Davis. State records show Davis registered the veneer experts as an Illinois business in July 2023. We're changing lives one smile at a time. It's slow and steady. How's it feel? A change is what tattoo artist Ralph Jones was after. You'd be hard pressed to find a photo of him with a toothy smile. They just started decaying and falling out and over the course of the years, like it just started like making their parents look pretty bad. A $2,000 price tag and huge customer smiles on the Veneer Experts Instagram page sold him. Jones visited Davis and her team for shiny teeth coverings called veneers. He says he was told these new smiles last 8 to 10 years. That didn't happen for him. I woke up to a chip too. It was a piece of it chip. Bailey says her problem started when she tried to make a follow-up appointment. One of the numbers was disconnected. The other one, nobody would answer. Dr. Davis was nowhere to be found. Literally, CBS2 could not locate her name on the state website where dentists should be registered. In Illinois, dentists need to have a license.
A license ensures that the person has had a high level of quality of education and training. And it guarantees a dentist is well-versed in sanitation and patient safety. Lindsay Wagahoff from the Illinois State Dental Society explains the consequences for anyone who touches teeth without a license. Sometimes there's cease and desist letters that are sent, um, and then obviously then there's a process then after that too in the, in the court system. An arrest. Davis knows all about that. Apparently, the veneer experts had also been operating at this Las Vegas strip mall, and Davis got picked up for illegally practicing dentistry without a Nevada dental license. You see that mugshot, and what goes through your mind? I just, I couldn't believe it. Then she looked at a calendar. Court documents show Davis was released from police custody in Nevada on January 31st. It was only nine days later when Bailey says she and her daughter got braces from the unlicensed dentist. It's crazy to me that she can do this in Las Vegas and post bail and you come here and do the same thing. It's like you have no fear. Speaking I, of I fear. You, I don't know what she put inside of my mouth. Jones took this photo of his chipped veneer. I'm just wondering your assessment. CBS2 was allowed to share it with a properly yeah, so credentialed say, dentist, Lauren Zalay. I mean, the gum tissue is, is what I'm very concerned about because if you can't brush under those teeth, you're not going to have teeth there much longer. Bite together. Bailey also so got bad news from Dr. Zalay. They look like real braces, and but they, they don't connect to anything in the back and so there's no way to move the teeth. Meaning the braces aren't fixing anything. Did she take any x-rays or anything? Uh -uh. No x-rays. Because that's obviously the first thing. You know, you would want to make sure that, you know, the teeth are healthy before you're right. going to start moving them. So you don't have any comment on the people that you did procedures on here in Illinois? Hanging up was Davis's response to us. Our in-person research led to the discovery that the veneer experts were asked to leave their office in Schaumburg. A receptionist for the building said they'd gotten several calls from upset customers. We actually don't even know how many people that she actually did this to. It's just a big letdown. It's wrong. A line crossed that leaves a small business owner and others with no choice but to dip into their savings and start over. All right, so we just watched the news clip. So while a lot of this stuff can be low-key comical, that people are willing to do this, that there's a whole veneer tech hustle, you know, that folks are making money hand over fist because people want to be veneer techs in two days, that you can go from being a nail tech to a veneer tech, we also got to look at the bigger issue, okay? This is just a microcosm of what's going on in society. One, the beauty standards. The beauty standards that tell people that unless you have perfectly straight white teeth, you're not worthy and I think that sometimes we we go chasing these beauty standards and we need to realize that they're they're not really realistic yes some people are born with straight white teeth and that's a blessing right but there's also nothing wrong if you have a chip tooth or if your teeth are a little bit yellow or if you have a gap you know what I'm saying? That's just what makes you uniquely you. And I think that unfortunately social media and, you know, not to blame celebrities again, they push this um, image of perfection, right? We have it with the body perfection, you know, big boobs, a little waist and a fat ass. So you had women going and getting basement BBLs and you had women dying from being injected with Lord knows what, okay, because they were chasing perfection. And this is the same thing that's happening. Another thing that we have to hit on is also the cost of dental insurance and how really dental insurance does not cover anything you know it is really expensive there's been times that I've gone into the dentist you know to like do whatever they needed to do on my teeth right and they're like yeah we need $800 I have it but I always think back you know those days when I didn't have it not everybody just has a cool $800 to just drop on the desk in cash. You know what I'm saying? And granted, some places will take payments, but other places are like, no. And then if you go to like sliding scale dentist um, offices, because they have some in the Twin Cities where you can go to like the U of M and you can go to like different dentistry schools, those lines are long. Like literally, it, you might be on the waiting list for two summers. But if you have real like teeth pain, what can you do? 
you know, you have to cough up the money, put it on a credit card. So I think that this just shows a bigger issue that, you know, a lot of people do want to have a nice smile. A lot of people, you know, do want to get their teeth problems fixed, but they can't afford it. Everybody cannot afford to drop 30 grand on, you know, real veneers by a real professional. So now they're going the back alley route. And that's unfortunate, but I think it really says a lot about us as a society and the pressure that we put on people to be perfect. And there's no such thing as perfection, okay? We all have things that we deal with. I might have perfect teeth, but chat, I got stretch marks, okay? So we all have little imperfections, little things that bother us. You know what I'm saying? You might have a, a crooked smile, but your skin might be as smooth as baby butter. You know, who knows? So it's just like we just have to deal with those imperfections and understand that, you know, God made us the way that we are. And, you know, just love it. And if it's something that you feel like you need to change, because, again, I'm not against plastic surgery I'm not against you know the glow up right we all have our insecurities but if you feel like you really need to change something about your smile or about your body remember you only have one body you only have one set of teeth you only have one mouth and so you need to be very very protective on who you let in that who you let operate on you who you let cut you open you need to do your research you need to research, make sure you go to the best of the best, and also understand that even if you have the money and you go to the best of the best, you could still have an experience like Winter Blanco. You know, certain things just don't work for everybody. You know, some people go to the best BBL surgeon and they still hop off the table looking like a Oompa Loompa. So, you know, you just have to know that those are the risks. So either you just learn to accept your yourself and your smile and your body for what it is, or you try to go to the best person in that field. But I just think it's really sad what's going on. Like, I didn't realize this was such a thing. And I mean, just to read the comments, it's just like, everybody wants fake teeth. Everybody wants veneers. Like, And half the people that I see getting these veneers, their teeth are not that bad. Like, I'm, I'm like trying to understand, like, even with Rolly, you know, they might have been a little bit yellow. Yeah, maybe just get some teeth whitener. But her teeth were not that bad. You know, people need to understand that healthy teeth are a blessing. And if unless your teeth are like rotting out and you have a bunch of like, you know, tooth rot and gum issues, you need to be very grateful to have teeth, you know, because from what I'm hearing from veneers, there's a lot of side effects, everything from bad breath to, you know, people can't, you know, chew on apples and harder, you know, foods. Um, they risk their veneers coming out, popping off. We've seen that happen with um, Tana Mojo and a few other people. You guys, it's about... So be very, very careful with these veneers and people who are looking to be veneer techs, understand that this is a scam and these officers are just scamming you for your money. They're literally getting $3,000, four or $5,000 from you and they're laughing all the way to the bank. This is not a real job, okay? And if you get popped, putting composite veneers on somebody's teeth, you're looking at a felony. You are practicing medicine without a degree. And that's not right, that's not okay. When you have people who have gone to medical school, dental school for upwards of eight years to become dentists and orthodontists, you can't just cut the line. So that's another thing we have to address is people who love titles, you know, they, they want the money, they want the prestige, they want the fame, but they don't wanna put in the work. If you want the prestige and the title of being a dentist and, you know, being able to do veneers, then you need to go to school for eight years to do that safely. You can't just go to a two-day course, a two-week course, and think that you're going to learn everything that you need to know about, you know, teeth and health and teeth health and things like that and think that you can do that on a real human being. That is not safe and it's not okay. So I was really blown away by this topic because, like I said, I never knew this was a thing. But I did remember thinking to myself, like, a few years ago, like, we're all, like, the teeth imperfections. Like, everybody has, like, perfect teeth now. Like, in the celebrity world, right? You'll see imperfections at Walmart. But I'm talking about when I look, like, on social media, when I watch, you know, movies and TV shows, everybody has, like, you know, perfect, pearly white, straight teeth. And I'm like, this is not really the norm in the real world. In the real world, I see people with gaps. I see people with chips. I see people with stained teeth, coffee stains, you know, all that type of stuff. And that's okay. But when we go on social media... All you see is a perfect smile. And, you know, it's sad. And it's even to the point now because everybody that's like an influencer or a celebrity has veneers and they have perfect teeth. 
people have asked me, you know, do I have veneers? Are these my real teeth? And it's like, yeah, these are my real teeth. I don't have any veneers. The only thing I've ever got done to my teeth is that root canal that I had last summer, you know? So other than that, I just get my teeth cleaned. And when I didn't have dental insurance, I went five years without seeing a dentist because I couldn't afford to go. That's just me keeping it real. It was too expensive. I didn't have any type of insurance. So I just took care of my teeth the best way I knew how. I flossed and I brushed twice a day and that was it. You know what I'm saying? I've just always kept my teeth as healthy as I can keep them. You know, so when I finally did finally get some insurance and go to a dentist, they were shocked that I hadn't been to a dentist literally in five years. They're like, well, for you not going to a dentist, you've done a good job of taking care of your teeth. So it can be done even without dental insurance. Make sure to brush twice a day, floss, and understand that your teeth are a big part of your body. And if you start getting teeth infections and things like that and start letting your teeth go, it can start causing other health issues for you. You know, your teeth are a big part of your body, so you want to take care of them and just slapping veneers over them, but having unhealthy teeth underneath, it's not good. So definitely be careful out here, you guys. Take care of yourself and understand that you are perfect just the way you are. And if you feel that you need to change something, go about it the smart way. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes being cheap is okay when it comes to clothes and hair and nails, but when it comes to your body, you need to spend them coins, okay? If you want to get veneers, go to a real veneer doctor. Not a tech. In Atlanta, a real doctor. So with that being said, I love to hear from you guys. I want to know your opinions on all this craziness going on on social media with these veneer tech scams and Winter Blanco coming out and crying. And do you feel like social media is causing people to want to have perfect teeth when that's really not the reality and it's okay to not have perfectly straight teeth. This is coming from somebody with straight teeth. It is okay. Y'all know I love gaps. I think gaps are like, ugh. Ah, French kiss. I love me a good gap. So, so just be careful out here, guys. There's a lot of people who are preying on our insecurities and, you know, things like that. And we need to be smart and use common sense and discernment. So with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. I look forward to reading y'all comments down below. Make sure to hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. And thank you guys for getting me to a million subscribers. I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show.